place in daytime dishing out the hottest topics. It is up to all of us to continue the conversation. This is a cultural revolution. That's my opening statement if I'm a prosecutor. Well, case made. Tell us more, Joy. I'm sick of it. She's sick of it. So grab your phone and join the conversation. I'd love to see that. And don't miss The View on ABC. To the Roy Moore story, Alabama Senate candidate Roy Moore has been picking a lot of fights lately, but he may regret starting a Twitter war with the Skywatch. <laughs> when you say come down to Alabama and we'll do it man to man, maybe that means you're challenging me to a fight. There is no one I would love to fight more than you. I will put my Christian values aside just for you and for that fight. So if you are challenging me to, to a fight, here's what we'll do. Let's find a place to do it. I'll wear a Girl Scout uniform so you can have something to get excited about. <laughs> And the winner, whoever wins the fight, will give all the money we charge for the tickets to charity. My charity will be the women who came forward to say you molested them, okay? So. Okay. So, um, a couple of things. Well, first of all, you know, no matter how funny your cowboy hat is, you'll never be funnier than Jimmy Kimmel. Right. He's yeah. so good. But you cringed when he did that joke I noticed about oh, the... Oh, just, uh, I mean, the Girl Scout thing. I mean, it's true. It's just, you know, it's kind of rough. It's like, interesting. Oh, I mean, it's like, I mean, uh, you know, whatever. What's interesting to me is that Jimmy Kimmel has become the spokesperson for the DNC. Like, I think that he is the best Democratic spokesperson that they have. They should run him in 2020. Why? He literally received... Because I think he played a hand in stopping the Obamacare repeal. Yes, he did. And he literally received talking points from Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer. Nobody else is as effective as communicating to the rest of the Democratic Party and the Democratic constituents than this man is, and he seems to be well, the Well, you have a comedian in, as a Republican pr president, so you need a <laughs> comedian <laughs> for the Democrats. I mean, it seems <laughs> fair. You know what was crazy to me? What was, what was terrible to me about... <laughs> what was terrible to me about Roy Moore's tweets <laughs> is that he said, you know... Um, Hollywood elite and all these people, you know, don't respect Southerners. And then he started talking about his Christian values. And there's nothing farther than being a Christian, th from being a Christian, than uh, allegedly molesting and uh, young girls well, and, and preying upon, upon young girls. Young girls. Yeah. And and you know, I don't know why Roy Moore and and certain other people think that they have sort of the moral. Uh, they have the corner on morality because Jimmy Kimmel went back and said, I was baptized, I'm confirmed, yeah. I am a Christian, I am a Catholic. No, but yeah. he's and probably... Why do you yeah. hide behind the church? It doesn't work like, because he's a Democrat and therefore yeah. pro-choice. Yeah, but you don't, you don't get to hide behind the church when you've been accused by numerous women of trying to molest them when you were... But, but he, when he is doing exactly that, Sonny. It's disgusting. And it's working. But the format of how these comedians are effective at night, I think speaks to the division of everyday politics right now. Because when you can join people in laughter in human moments where we can all laugh at the same joke, you can get through to people. The problem is right mm -hmm. now everyone digs their heels in based on which party you identify with. Right out of the gates, if you start into talking points on either party, everyone's like, uh, I'm off. But in these senses, that's why I always say comedy is so essential. Except that Jimmy's you, vilified by the right also. No, they, but they there's got to be people. Megan, Megan was just giggling even if it was an old kind of way like uh -huh. it, it unifies people when we can laugh about it it but reminds us that there's more of us that have something in common but if they're gonna do anything he's still gonna he's still he's probably gonna win in, in alabama isn't he you know Anna, come we, on. i actually think we don't know more and more keeps happening i have seen some very effective ads by Do uh, doug jones focusing on the victims i think it's going to be up to the people of alabama it is. that doesn't mean that the rest of us don't have an opinion because they're going yeah. to be in the u.s senate we pay for all of their salaries. They are making laws that affect us all. And I, as an American citizen, do not want to be represented, do not want a pedophile in the U.S. Senate. Point blank. Yeah, I don't care what part of you. Think about how, how much money they can save in an opposition commercial. You just have to go on and say, I date age-appropriate women. Yeah. Eight, four, five, but, and it's like, but, end. But look at this. There, I, the, G, I, I, the JMC poll said 34% <laughs> responded that the allegations against Roy Moore made no difference in their support of Moore. Right. Since when is child molestation a partisan issue? Since when is that not just because a, a, of the American issue? Because it's of wrong. the pro-choice position. Protect the fetus, not the child after it's born. That's how it looks to me. Sonny, everything is a partisan, is a partisan but position. But how could it be? And you look, look, I, we've 
thousand percent right, by the right. way. Yeah. I, for real. Like, because being, and I believe that his opponent is, like, ardently pro-choice. He's not even, like, a little bit in the middle. Yeah. And in deep state red Alabama, there are things that, whether we like it or not, will eclipse everything else. I think we're in a bizarre time in American politics. My money's on Roy Moore winning. Yeah, but listen. But doesn't that don't hurt? Clap the, at that. Doesn't don't make that, the audience clap at that. It's not good for you. Doesn't, doesn't, you that, agree with doesn't that. that hurt the Republican Party? Oh, a thousand percent Every it, day, it Mitch us. McConnell has to answer. You have a pedophile in the Republican Party. Well, Every it'll, day. It used, well, to, it used to stand for the grand old party. Now it's going to stand for gross old pedophiles. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> but but you you know, know, I think it's painful. You don't you think it's terrible. You don't hurt me. It's painful. Do you agree with Megan that he will likely win? I don't know. I actually don't know because I no longer trust polls. You know, we've yes. seen okay. polls be wrong. Because people we have lie. seen, uh, we've seen people uh, change their mind at yeah. the last minute. Yeah. Well, there's okay. still two weeks to 12, 11 days to go. I don't know what else is going to come out uh, until then. Look, I, I was incredibly surprised to see that the majority of white women came out and supported Trump after yes. over a dozen women came out on the record to denounce sexual assault by him. Yeah. Well, so at this point, very little surprise. Won't this ultimately mm -hmm. be harder for Republicans? Because right now they're saying they need that vote and they can't lose that vote. And I think that's why Trump won't um, go down there and, and actually know, campaign, but says to, he needs the vote. To, but once he's in, don't you think people will obstruct purely because of this whole it's situation? A, it's the Breitbart base, obstruct. though. You know, I mean, these, this is a Breitbart candidate, as we've said over and over again. I mean, Mitch McConnell, this is not who he wanted to ultimately be the candidate down there. What will be fascinating to me is if he wins, Breitbart still has power. The, what got Trump elected is still alive and well. If he doesn't, he's a little neutered going forward in the elections going. Because there are Republicans that don't agree with him being there. So yeah. what I mean is inner party relations and bipartisan issues, you've got someone that's saying, we're not dealing with Roy Moore. We were Moore. just talking about how tribal that's it's got. True. Maybe they don't even care. What? In other words, what you've been talking well, about, bipartisan cooperation, this is the first time you're actually saying it, that Mitch McConnell is against pedophilia. Good for him. Well, I, but it's a very sad <laughs> bar. I mean, in, in, all, in all sincerity, and again, it's very difficult for most of us to watch, but I do think when it comes right down to it, there are some people that are just like, I could never vote for a Democrat. At the end, it's a liberal conspiracy to get Did them out of office. Did you vote for a Democrat? Uh, did I? Yes, actually, in college, I voted for John Kerry, which I would, is like a big uh, wow. scarlet I voted letter. For, for Republican mm -hmm. I would have more respect. Mayor Bloomberg. Though. Wouldn't you have more respect for oh, people in Alabama if they just stayed home and didn't vote for him? I'd have more respect for someone well, that wrote someone in or just didn't vote than vote for I for think they should write in their women's names. Well, that's yeah. what you said, Megan, about the I'd president. I'd have more respect. That's you said about the president. You said about the presidential election, you couldn't vote for Hillary, but you also couldn't vote for Trump. So yeah, but I, tr again, it's deeply personal for me. I mean, he, uh, you know, attacked my father's military right. service, You've so I, I'm a complete why? outlier from it. But I will say, like, the more the media says you, you know, rednecks are supporting a pedophile, I'm telling you, these people are sitting there and wherever Alabama, being like, the media is not going to tell me what to do. Yeah, and it's so tribal and it's so tunnel vision, and I don't think it's right, and I think it's bizarre, like I said, but I think it's don't the way. The okay, media believe right the now. women. Okay, believe we got to go. I'm just We're trying gonna to take a break. Yeah. We'll be right okay. back. Yeah. <laughs> The View Store Online is one-stop shopping for everyone on your list this season. My lovely Sarah, do you know it makes a great gift for the holidays? I sure do. I got you one too. Grab your gifts from the View Store. It's packed with mugs, merch, and a whole lot more. This is my favorite hoodie. It is so soft. It is so warm. I think it will be your favorite, too. So get your holiday shopping on now, because the View Store Online is the place to be at Christmas time. Breaking news. Oh, my God. Oh, breaking oh. news. ABC News' Brian Ross is reporting Michael Flynn promised full cooperation to the Mueller team and is prepared to testify that as a candidate, Donald Trump directed him to make contact with the Russians. Yes! <laughs> to look a lot like Christmas oh and it's God. beginning to look a lot like collusion. This, yeah. yeah. This I mean, like it's... you get a car, you get a car, you get a car <laughs> reaction from the audience, by the no, way. No. I mean... He goes to jail. He goes to jail. He goes to jail. Lock him up. Lock him up. I, 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 I,
enjoy. Take this yeah, moment. I, I give am. it to you. You know what? You know what this is to me? This is the antithesis of election First night. First day of Hanukkah. No. If you can rip off her black veil. <laughs> Am I gonna do my joke now? <laughs> everybody, everybody thinks I'm Jewish. I'm not. I'm Italian. A few years ago, I am. A few years I get a call. Happy Hanukkah. I said, Ma, I'm not Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the, 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 on election night, on election night, yes. I had to wear a veil. I was in mourning. Yeah. So veil. this is like that's the antithesis true. of that hideous night. Well, and that's why I'm happy. But the thing is, this is so significant. You're talking about someone's yes. national security advisor, someone with a military background who pled guilty to lying to the FBI, to the federal government, and now is going to testify that not as president, as a candidate, president... The, the candidate, Do Donald Trump, directed him to make contact with the Russians. I mean, does everybody understand how significant that is? Uh -huh. there, there's no, I mean, it's unbelievable. It's, it's true, it's true. And there is no legal definition for collusion. There's no legal definition for collusion, but there is the legal definition for conspiracy. And conspiracy requires an overt act from one person to the other. I could prove an overt okay. act Isn't easily. Isn't it kind of like three so quick What do you think? I really okay. mean it when I say you can take this moment, Joy. We've got to give each other. I, I concede to you that this is a good moment for you, and it's a good moment for Democrats. And that for you being too. number and one. For the country. No, it's what I say. Not to be, not to be the Debbie Downer, but if this <laughs> somehow leads to indictment, the country's going to rip itself apart, and it's not good for no, America. No, it should lead to resignation. It's not. I yeah. mean, I would I say remember this. Richard Nixon, and Richard we'll... Nixon stepped down, and so should Donald Trump. But if, if it leads to that, if it, again, this just happened in real time in this segment. We don't know the exact details of this, but I will say I implore everyone. I know everyone's cheering in here again. I give Democrats and liberals this moment whatever, but I will say that I don't want this country to become more polarized and ripped yeah, apart honest, than it already. I think it will be I, less polarized. I, I, I disagree I, with you. I don't you want a foreign government Sarah, interfering not, in our election. No, but I, this is not a liberal I, moment, Sarah. guys. This is an American moment. That's right. It's, it's, it's not a Democrat. It's not a Republican. You know what? No, it's I'm not, not cheering over this. No, I'm not no, cheering over this. It's an American moment. No, I, what I just said and what you just said, because you remember during Nixon I wasn't born yet. Yes. That's not a knock, but like this will, the country is so deeply polarized. It will become more polarized. I implore everyone for that not to happen. But, well, and it is know difficult that enough as it is. Confirming that what we feared is true is also a scary time because it was saying that a foreign power was invited in. So even though there's clapping and screaming and yeah. everyone's excited, it, it, it's also a mixed emotion which thing. Is which is Which right. is bad, but it doesn't, th that doesn't mean it's good for the country either way. That's really bad if the present day president is is Look. there is collusion proven here. So it's not that it's a happy day. It's we need to figure out what went down here. Like that, I, I can't find myself cheering either. Oh no, it's a happy day. Come on. <laughs> well, come on. I am, I am more concerned. He is with going to be taken down for what he did, and this country can start to heal and parties if can work can, together like Megan know. wants it to. Then that's yeah, that a happy we don't day. Even know what this process would no. look like. It's going to be. It's messy now, and that'd be messy too. So I just. You know what? Justice I, I, to is me, messy. To me, it's a. Uh, it's it's not. Um, it's not a happy day. It's not a sad it's day. It's not a happy <laughs> day. What it is for me. What it is is first of all, we're still in this process, but it's also a very scary day. It's a scary. Yeah, day. The idea that's what I'm that to this say guy, is. despite the fact that he was having contact with the Russians during the election, was then b named national security advisor, the power that that has, the intelligence that that has, the clearance that that has, the access mm -hmm. that that has, the influence that that has, the profile that that has, the international implications that that has, and that this guy, this former general, who he knew what he general. was doing, yep. yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. had been having contact with the Russians and was able to get that position, and that Donald Trump continued Protecting him over and over again, even after Asking he had to fire to him, is him, yeah. scary as hell. Yeah, Except it's less scary now that they're finding all this yeah, out. But, but you just said, you, I, I, and I'm not, I don't want to get it wrong. I thought you just said something the last segment, like, you know, um, in, in terms of our country, we should all come together and be concerned if a foreign power yeah. was involved in our election. So that's why, in my view, I hear this news. It's not a Democratic issue. It's not a Republican issue. We should all collectively be concerned. That, if, if, that this yeah. happens. So this is a time for our country. This is good for our That's country right. to expose Cut this kind our, but of being, But it being behavior. concerning and scary is, the, is still on board right. with your it's point. Not, not which not. is just, it doesn't have to be gleeful and happy to say this.
Yeah. And like we should be I said serious before. about it. But yeah, but it is concern. concern. As right. I said before, you are taking this moment to enjoy it. Of course, I think if the tables were turned, you would, you would as joy. well as we yeah, Merry Christmas, Joy. Thank but you. I will <laughs> Thank say, you, Santa. <laughs> but I will say that I do think that there's a bunch of people in Alabama and in red states that are going to think they're trying to take my president down. It's the media trying to rip him apart. I beg, thank you very much, by the way, for agreeing they with me. They can think that. And I think, but I also you're think entitled. that I don't want to relive the 60s. I don't want to relive what it's like to have a president impeach. I don't want, we've been talking all week, very intensely, by the way. I don't want this country to rip itself apart. I would like us to find more in between. And this is, you know, it seems like an audience that's excited at the idea of President Trump being, you know, in, indicted and possibly impeached. He won't be guilty. That is not. Somebody, look. <laughs> But you know what? I, I can go into a whole conversation on the 70s because I was there. But if someone commits... Can you actually remember if, it? Oh, <laughs> yes, I do. I was not... I never took drugs. This isn't Wolfie. I never took drugs. Um, if someone commits a crime, that's a bad thing. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. When they find out, that's a good thing. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about I'm now. I'm with you on that. And, so, and I don't believe there yeah. will be an impeachment. I, I think there will be a resignation. I, that's Absolutely. what I believe. I've said it from I the agree. beginning. People were calling I, for his impeachment the day after the election, though. And again, oh. to a lot of Republicans, if there is evidence that, of course, do you think I like this? Anna and I just w talked in the whole last segment about how we feel about Russia and how bizarre mm -hmm. it is to have this yeah. experience of the normalizing of Putin. That being said, again, as I said before, I think both of I, you and I know Republicans. I know Trump supporters. This isn't going to be seen in this, through the same right. lens it's seen I've right got to take another break. Yes. We'll <laughs> be right back. Yes. <laughs> I saw the change in Rich. Welcome back to the show. So uh, here's another reason Americans can sleep better tonight. Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber are back. <laughs> but, 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 she says she's still friends with her ex-boyfriend, The Weeknd. Is that his name? The Weeknd? Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Have an order for what type of, of name. name is that? The, the weekend. weekend. I had never heard of him. I thought she was friends with her ex during the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> no. That is his I'm a political nerd. About conditional. <laughs> so she's in a relationship with the Biebs, and she's having a relationship. Look at you. Yeah. And she's also um, has a thing going on with her ex, but not a, a she stayed not a romantic relationship. I think that's a nice way of saying it's cordial. I don't think they're like hanging out together. I don't like it. Okay. No. <laughs> I don't like it. Don't look back, Sonny. I think it's the one thing Megan and I agree on. Exes are dead. Yeah. <laughs> no. And, uh, you know, once you've seen somebody naked, you can't have coffee with them. Like, you can't do it. It's, it's the near temptation of sin. Has anyone I don't seen like that it. picture of that? Can you have water? Uh, that Wait, yes. You can't have water. Have you, you speaking yeah. of naked, did you see that picture no, of that guy? What's his name? No, Martin. You Joe Martin. Joe Martin. Martin. You've got to, we can't show it, but you've got to Google it. It's no, unbelievably don't hilarious. Don't show it. All right, never mind. We can't show it. No, we can't show it. No, we can't. I'm friends with it. Well, look, at least he was sending, at least he was sexting, at least he was trolling an adult woman. And it consented. That's a sad bar right. we have. Yeah. I will say, I put my wedding photo up on Twitter, and a guy I had gone out with that was like the guy that I was like, I can no longer date humans in LA because you're such a crazy person. Mm -hmm. He liked my wedding photo, and I, I got an alert because we and I got a, really a screenshot, nice and I was like, Why are you like? We, we hate, like this is crazy. We it's had the stalker. worst dates ever. So Aww. social media makes everything. Well, I think look, I, I think the rules should be this. I think it's okay for me to be friends with my ex. I don't think my man should be friends with it. <laughs> <laughs> I always ask before I see it, and it's not a frequent thing or a good friend, but when he, when one of them comes to town, they always say, do you want to grab lunch? I always You're ask. You're eating lunch? Mm -hmm. You and your ex? <laughs> yeah. And, and Eso no es bueno. Because that's like a big no, chunk. Like it. It's a big chunk of your life to write it all off. Like, those were like years You've of your life. You've got to write it off. They're dead to you, Sarah. No, I don't agree with I, that. I'm still, I don't I'm still friends that. with a lot of Look, sisters is, of the guys. You've got to understand. This is a, we've got this Hispanic thing going it's on. It's a Latina this, thing. It's yeah, like, we think jealousy runs in our veins. <laughs> you know, I got two words for you, Lorena Bobbitt. <laughs> Just don't play. <laughs> we don't play. I'm anymore together. <laughs> the person is part of your life, part of your history. It's memory. History. It's, the past. Yeah. Yeah. Do, you keep, do you keep in touch with exes? You know, I had one of the researchers look a couple of exes up and found out they were dead. <laughs> <laughs> you, have, you have a child. 
child with an ex. Not with the dead one. <laughs> no, no, he's still no, alive. Your living, your living ex is the parent to your child. Yes, so and different. I have a relationship you with have, him. If you he's have still blended, there. Yeah. Children together. We had plants together. I mean, there was no. stuff we you shared. You know something? Children together, you, know, you have to make do. You know something on a serious, like a serious note? When people, unfortunately, get Alzheimer's, I think that's one of the worst diseases. Why? Because you mm -hmm. cannot remember your past. Here you have an opportunity to not only remember, but to connect up with someone who you loved once. No. Yeah. If Why you would have you a good enough memory, no to that. you need to just keep it there. No, you don't you know have to. Really good. You're too strict. It's really good to like run like into it. an ex when you got all your hair when and you're all really put together. Yeah. That's right? great. Yeah. And they look like they just came off, day. you know. A, a run-in uh, is different. I don't know. Just I had an ex avoid me at an airport one time. I was with yeah. a friend, and she was like, oh, my God, I think Blank is over there. And I texted him. I was like, are you in the LAX? I just phone he games. didn't answer me. And then I ran into him and his current girlfriend yeah. at the bar there. Right. And I, Did you saw, look cute? I saw his phone, yeah. and I saw he saw my text, and I was like, the airport. This is why we don't date anymore. You're such a jerk. So. Okay. Yeah. We're going to go back. We're going to have to take a break again, but pleasant. we'll be right back. That's good. <laughs> The political views on fire when Anna Navarro co-hosts. Tell us more. Okay, <laughs> get ready to laugh out loud when Keegan-Michael Key, Ed Helms, and Tiffany Haddish all face the ladies. It's funny. I know. <laughs> it's all next week on The View. Tuesday, we're kicking off 11 days of holiday giveaways that'll have you singing All I Want for Christmas is View. Good one. Thank you. If you're looking for standout, one-of-a-kind gifts people will remember, check out Minted, a design marketplace for independent artists from around the world and the ultimate source for unique gifts for everyone on your list. And great news, thanks to Minted, members of our audience are going home with a $300 wow. Minted wow. voucher. <laughs> today and all next week so enter for a chance to win each day by visiting our facebook page and using the daily code you see on the screen it's that easy so good luck that's a lot of money three hundred dollars three hundred is a good you can get some one. nice stuff okay here we have Christmas one more hot topic mm. beyonce she dropped plenty of hints about Jay-Z cheating on her in her music, but in Lemonade, right? But now he's telling the New York Times when you do this. all about it and how the two of them worked it out. Take a look. Mm -hmm. We were using our, with our art, almost like a therapy session. And we started making music together. Right. You know, most people walk away and like divorce rate is like 50% or something because most people can't see themselves. The hardest thing is seeing pain on someone's face that you cause and then have to deal with yourself. Yeah. So you don't, yeah. most people don't want to do that. Yeah. You don't want to look inside yourself. Yeah. And so you walk away. Well, good for him. But could it work out if you were cheating on you ladies? What do you think? I know Sonny's going to say. <laughs> Sonny could go through pretty much anything and she would never walk away. <laughs> Well, I, I, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, I know, I'd make him pay for it. Um, I'm a child of divorce, and um, it was very hard for our family. And so, no, I, I, I would try everything in my power to make sure that, that my marriage works. I Don't mean, I've been married depend. almost 20 years. It does depend. To me, it depends. If it's a one-night stand or some sex yeah. thing, we could get over it. I mean, Manny doesn't know that I could get over it. I hope, I hope he's, he's not, not watching. watching. <laughs> I cannot get over it, Manny. No. But, but, but if it's a romantic relationship where they start doing things for the other one, you the know. The falling in love is the part I have a problem something. with. If there's an emotional right. affair, I don't know how I could get past that with trust. Sadly, a physical one-off or something, I, I think I... A one-off. A one-off. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I, not that I want for anything here, but I think I, I could get on board with getting through that. It's the love part that kills let me. Let me tell you that it, it, the idea of getting through it in public, like they're doing, is even more painful. They've yeah. actually turned it into art, and they've yeah, turned it into yeah. therapy and into an, an, an outlet. Look, at the end of the day, every couple, every marriage is an individual, and they've got to do what's best for, for them that. and what works for them. Yeah. But that is why you do not hang out with your exes. <laughs> 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 hey, yeah. Sonny, my Mac 
Alex now <laughs> agrees with you because during the segment he texted me and I swear I asked every time if I could see this person mm -hmm. and he just wrote I'm with Sunny on that one and Thank I said you, Max. wait which one he goes the ex's smiley oh. face mm -hmm. I didn't know so now people you know. don't mm -hmm. like you to hang out with people you have seen naked they don't all right, like all it right <laughs> what a nag I'm that's Joe Barton she said then it's okay you know what, I have 30 <laughs> seconds to hear from you well, like, you guys got married really I've been with married with 10 days and right. if Beyonce can't keep a man from cheating I don't know it doesn't make me feel great about the future <laughs> opportunity for me to plug my book because it's very very yeah. relevant my book is about trump it's called the great gas bag <laughs> and it, it is available it is available on amazon and barnes and noble and go out and it's a great and stocking it's funny stuffer. and it's good and, and it's, it's thank you it's, it's a, a great book. stocking stuffer for trump supporters that's what i'm doing this year and my for trump people who love friends. trump have a laugh it's your reverend have a laugh yeah. <laughs> and also for you out there have a laugh have a wonderful weekend have a great day <laughs> take a little time to enjoy the Important health care notice. Welcome back. Welcome back. As, uh, as advertised to uh, the Roy Moore story, Alabama Senate candidate Roy Moore has been picking a lot of fights lately, but he may regret starting a Twitter war with the Skywatch. <laughs> When you say come down to Alabama and we'll do it man to man, maybe that means you're challenging me to a fight. There is no one I would love to fight more than you. I will put my Christian values aside just for you and for that fight. So if you are challenging me to, to a fight, here's what we'll do. Let's find a place to do it. I'll wear a Girl Scout uniform so you can have something to get excited about. And the winner, whoever wins the fight, will give all the money we charge for the tickets to charity. My charity will be the women who came forward to say you molested them, okay? So Okay, so a um, couple of things. Well, first of all, you know, no matter how funny your cowboy hat is, you'll never be funnier than Jimmy Kimmel. Right. He's yeah. so good. But you cringed when he did that joke I noticed about Oh, the, just, uh, I mean, the Girl Scout thing. I mean, it's true. It's just, you know, it's kind of rough. It's like, interesting. Oh, I mean, it's like, I mean, uh, you know, whatever. What's interesting to me is that Jimmy Kimmel has become the spokesperson for the DNC. Like, I think that he is the best Democratic spokesperson that they have. They should run him in 2020. Why? He literally received, because... I think he played a hand in stopping the Obamacare repeal. Yes, he did. And he literally received talking points from Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer. Nobody else is as effective as communicating to the rest of the Democratic Party and the Democratic constituents than this man is. And he seems to be well, the Well, you future. have a comedian as a Republican president, so you need a comedian <laughs> for the Democrats. I mean, it seems <laughs> fair. You know what was crazy to me? What was, what was terrible to me it's about... What was terrible to me about Roy Moore's <laughs> tweets is that he said, you know... Um, Hollywood elite and all these people, you know, don't respect Southerners. And then he started talking about his Christian values. And there's nothing farther than being a Christian, th from being a Christian, than uh, allegedly molesting and, uh, young girls well, and, and preying upon, upon young girls. Young yeah. girls. And, and, you know, I don't know why Roy Moore and, and certain other people think that they have sort of the moral... Uh, they have the corner on morality because Jimmy Kimmel went back and said, I was baptized, I'm confirmed, yeah. I am a Christian, I am a Catholic. No, but yeah. he's and probably... Why do you yeah. hide behind the church? It doesn't work like, because he's a Democrat and therefore yeah. pro-choice. Yeah, but you don't, you don't get to hide behind the church when you've been accused by numerous women of trying to molest them when you were... But he's but a, when he is doing exactly that, Sonny. It's disgusting. And it's working. But the format of how these comedians are effective at night, I think speaks to the division of everyday politics right now. Because when you can join people in laughter in human moments where we can all laugh at the same joke, you can get through to people. The problem is right mm -hmm. now everyone digs their heels in based on which party you identify with. Right out of the gates, if you start into talking points on either party, everyone's like, uh, I'm off. But in these senses, that's why I always say comedy is so essential. Except that Jimmy's You've vilified by the right also. No, but after, there's got to be people. Him. Megan was just giggling even if it was an old oh, kind of way like yeah. it, it unifies people when we can laugh about it it but reminds us that there's do. more of us that have something in common but is it going to do anything he's still going to he's still he's probably going to win in alabama isn't he you know Anna, come we, on. i actually think we don't know more and more keeps happening i have seen some very effective ads by doug jones 
focusing on the victims. I think it's going to be up to the people of Alabama. It is. That doesn't mean that the rest of us don't have an opinion because they're going to be in the U.S. Senate. We pay for all of their salaries. They are making laws that affect us all. And I, as an American citizen, do not want to be represented, do not want a pedophile in the U.S. Senate. Point blank. Money they can save in an opposition commercial. You just have to go on and say, "I date age-appropriate women." Yeah, Eight, four, five, but, and it's like but, end. But look at this. There, I, the, I, the JMC poll said 34 percent responded that the allegations against Roy Moore made no difference in their support of Moore. Right. Since when is child molestation a partisan issue? Since when is that not just because a, a, of the, American because issue? Because it's of wrong. the pro-choice position, protect the fetus, not the child after it's born. That's how it looks to me. Sonny, everything is a partisan. And this, uh, but how could it be? And, you know, you're 1,000% right, by the right. way. Uh, yeah. For real. Like, because being, and I believe that his opponent is, like, ardently pro-choice. He's not even, like, a little bit in the middle. Yeah. And in deep state red Alabama, there are things that, whether we like it or not, will eclipse everything else. I think we're in a bizarre time in American politics. My money's on Roy Moore winning. Yeah, but listen. But doesn't that Don't hurt clap the, at that? Don't make that, the audience clap at that. It's not good for you. Doesn't, but you that, agree with doesn't that. that hurt the Republican Party? Oh, a thousand percent. Every it, day, it Mitch McConnell has to answer. You have a pedophile in the Republican Party. Well, Every you know, day. It used, to, it used to stand for the grand old party. Now it's going to stand for gross old pedophiles. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> Megan, that he will likely win? I don't know. I actually don't know because I no longer trust polls. You know, we've yeah. seen okay. polls be wrong. Because people we have seen, uh, We've seen people uh, change their mind at yeah. the last minute. Yeah. Well, there's okay. still two weeks to 12, 11 days to go. I don't know what else is going to come out uh, until then. Look, I, I was incredibly surprised to see that the majority of white women came out and supported Trump after yes. over a dozen women came out on the record to denounce sexual assault by him. Yeah. Well, so at this point, very little surprise. Won't this ultimately mm -hmm. be harder for Republicans? Because right now they're saying they need that vote and they can't lose that vote. And I think that's why Trump won't um, go down there and, and actually know, campaign, but says to, he needs the vote. To, but once he's in, don't you think people will obstruct purely because of this whole it's situation? The, it's the Breitbart base, obstruct. though. You know, I mean, these, this is a Breitbart candidate, as we've said over and over again. I mean, Mitch McConnell, this is not who he wanted to ultimately be the candidate down there. What will be fascinating to me is if he wins, Breitbart still has power. The, what got Trump elected is still alive and well. If he doesn't, he's a little neutered going forward in the elections going. Because there are Republicans that Senate. don't agree with him being there. So yeah. what I mean is inner party party relations and bipartisan issues, you've got someone that's saying, we're not dealing with but Roy Moore. we were Moore. just talking about how tribal that's it's got. True. Maybe they don't even care. What? In other words, what you've been talking about, bipartisan cooperation, this is the first time you're actually saying it, that Mitch McConnell is against pedophilia. Good for him. Well, I, but it's a very sad <laughs> bar, I mean, in, in, all, in all sincerity, and again, it's very difficult for most of us to watch, but I do think when it comes right down to it, there are some people that are just like, I could never vote for a Democrat. At the end, it's a liberal conspiracy to get Did them out of office. Did you vote for a Democrat? Uh, did I? Yes, actually, in college, I voted for John Kerry, which I would, is like a big I, wow. scarlet I voted letter. For, for Republican I would have more I do, I I have Wouldn't you have more respect for oh, people in party. Alabama if they just stayed home and didn't vote for him? I'd have more respect for someone well, that in wrote some women or just didn't vote than vote for I think for they should write in their women's names. Well, that's yeah. what you said, Megan, about the I'd have more respect. respect. That's you good. said about the... Good. You said about the presidential election, you couldn't vote for Hillary, but you also couldn't vote for Trump. So yeah, but I, tr again, it's deeply personal for me. I mean, he, uh, you know, attacked my father's military right. service, You've so I, shopping I'm a reasons. complete Why? outlier from it. But I will say, like, the more the media says, you, you know, rednecks are supporting a pedophile, I'm telling you, these people are sitting there and wherever Alabama being like, the media's not going to tell me what to do. Yeah. And it's so tribal and it's so tunnel vision. And I don't think it's right. And I think it's bizarre, like I said, but I think it's don't the way. The okay, media believe right the now. women. Okay, believe we got to go. I'm just We're trying to take a break. Yeah. We'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> The View Store Online is one-stop shopping for everyone on your list this season. My lovely Sarah, do you know what makes a great gift for the holidays? I sure do. I got you one, too. Grab your gifts from the View Store. It's packed with mugs, merch, and a whole lot more.
This is my favorite hoodie. It is so soft. It is so warm. I think it will be your favorite, too. So get your holiday shopping on now, because the View Store Online is the place to be at Christmas time.